Yo, what the frig is going on, guys? Another day, another fucking penny. Um, someone asked me. Uh, this is like the. Th I think this is like the fourth one I did. Uh, I would love to get a Kydex holster for a revolver. I said, okay. I can't seem to find them anywhere, and uh, I hope this mic's picking me up because I didn't put it on my shirt. I put it on this little stand here because it kept making crackling noises in the other video. <clears throat> anyway, so I, I've done them. I just did a big Ruger Red Hawk with a six inch barrel. This here is an old Smith & Wesson Model 10. Beautiful. It looks nickel to me. Uh, it looks like a nickeled or a high, high polished stainless steel revolver with beautiful um, grayish black grips and it's really, really nice. And um, I was asked, could I make a holster for it? Yes, I can. The only thing is, I need the gun. So this is for local people, most of all, this video. So if you're local and you got some old revolvers and uh, you really want to get a nice holster for them, uh, I can do that. Uh, I, 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 even for the revolvers, even the old revolvers, I think they look great in a Kydex holster. Um, I know leather is more of a tradition with these with these older guns, but I'm telling you, man, um, I have stuff that looks like leather, but the, the thing that the Kydex has over it is it's um, is the support. You're not going to get support out of a leather holster like you will a Kydex holster. Okay, the whole with a whole holster is stiff and solid. It holds the weight of the gun better. That's just the truth. And it has retention. Okay. And this is a shiny nickel. Looks nickel. And it, it is. I've done this before in a video. It's safe. Okay. And that right there is a Model 10. If you ever want to see where the model is, you open up the crane here. And you look on this flat piece of steel in here. And it's stamped. And it says... Model 10-7. So this is a really old school revolver. So the guy dropped off the revolver and I prepared it very carefully. And uh, it came out great, man. I mean, it's a right hand outside the waistband holster. I mean, you can't ask for a better fit than that. And we do, I mean, I say we, me. I do do them. I do do them. Someday it'll be a we. I'm not busy enough for a we. But it came out really, really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And it has an adjustable tension screw right there. And figured something different. Nice high sight radius channel. And when this, when, when you wear these Kydex holsters because of how they're shaped, they're shaped to your body. I could, I could wear this right now and pull a shirt over it, and it's gone because it's so close to the body. It's so close to the body. That's why it, um, this is the only kind of holsters I'll ever make. They'll always have a half moon dome shape to them. And this is slightly candid. I candid it because it has a big handle. So um, when it's straight, when it's straight on the belt, the gun will kind of sit like this. So this butt of the gun, don't poke out your shirt as much. It hides the gun better, okay? So there it is, just wanted to show you this today. Got this done for a friend of mine who gives me a lot of business. And there, goes in and out very nicely. All right, so that, and of course, this is the leather I was telling you about, but I, I forgot to ask him if he wanted the leather. I thought that would that probably would have been way more appropriate. That actually that probably would have been definitely the way to go with this old fashioned revolver. But I, it was my it was my fault. I, I just forget to mention things. But it's also ten dollars more when you use the the pattern with any kind of texture on it. Costs me a whole lot more than just regular plain old black Kydex because it's more money. No reason why, I have no idea, I guess because it takes longer to make. But um, just wanted to show you, it's kind of different, you know what I mean? So, I just want to let you guys know that 
uh, I only have about six orders right now. So to me, that's pretty much caught up, you know. Uh, I don't like to put videos up if I have like 30 orders or something because I don't want too much, too much volume because I don't want people waiting long because I hate waiting for packages. I hate it, especially when Amazon says, oh, your package is coming tomorrow. And then the tomorrow comes and it's something you really want, not something stupid, like something you're excited about. And it says, oh, sorry, your package has been delayed. It's not coming till the next day or how pissed off do you get? Am I the only one that gets really bent out of shape when that happens? I hate that when that happens. I hate it. And it's been happening a lot lately with Amazon, and they've been blaming the friggin' uh, COVID thing. You know, it's like, seriously? I don't know. So the, everything's slow. The mail, I'm um, getting an air horn from my truck, and the, and the place is taking like three weeks to get a friggin' horn. A horn! Whatever. So, um, got like maybe five or six orders left, so I am caught up. If you want a holster, check the website out. The live link is right under the video. And uh, all good. Let me know what you think of this holster. All right, have a good one, guys.